Hey everyone, MG here, and today we will be pulling for the highly anticipated Hersher of the Void. So I got her pretty easily in the Japanese server, and I'm hoping something like that would happen here. And uh, yeah, though it's not really probable, one can only hope. So yeah, as you can see, I already have 53 counts left on the s rank guarantee, and my crystals can pretty much get me there, maybe just lacking a little bit. I'm not too worried about that. What I'm really worried about is the equipment. So as we already know, the cost of getting an S rank guarantee if your counter is still at 100 counts is 28,000 crystals. And now with 14,000 crystals per piece of equipment, that brings the total for equipment to 56,000. And if you add the S rank Valkyrie in, it is a total of 84,000 crystals. So that amount sounds quite scary, I have never topped up even to half that amount for any single event, and I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon. Alright, so this will be the 10th pool, uh, guaranteed Valkyrie. Um, if I don't get the for sure of the Void in this pool, it's okay, I have 43 more, and yes, Craigsmesser. So... Alright, so at least I get something new because I had a lot of difficulty getting Night Squire in the previous expansion. So, no, at least I have um, the new A rank and then once I pull down all of the guarantees, I will have both the new A rank and the new S rank. So I'm pretty happy about it. Oh, not even 10 pulls! Aha. Uh -huh. Well, it's not even 10 pulls, so I'll take what I can get. Yep, that was 7 pulls. And on we go. Let's hope I don't have to do all 53 because there is still equipment to be pulling for. Okay, so yet another guarantee. Oh my god, not looking good. But, um, you know, even if it's not that good, it's still just 26 pulls away if I don't get it in this pool. I do hope it's- YES! Yes, it is the Hersher of the Void. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about anything anymore. At least on the Valkyrie side, because... Yep, at 26 pulls left on the counter, I have obtained the Hersher of the Void. Oh yeah. I can't tell you guys how relieved I am, because... If I went for all 53 pulls, I'd be like, minus right now. I'd be negative on my crystals. And uh, yeah, I'd have to get a lot more for the equipment. So now I took um, 27 pulls to get the Hersher of the Void. Really, really good. I'm really happy about it. And it's time to move on to getting the equipment. And so we're back with slightly more crystals from the weekend bundles. And I got the Keys of the Void in the Japanese server with just one pull. But I'm really, really nervous right now because, you know, when you have that good luck on another pull, your chances are basically screwed for anything else you try. Also, um, in case you guys are wondering if it's a better choice to pull from the Focus A or the Expansion Equipment, I would definitely go for the Expansion Equipment like I mentioned earlier, because there is at least a guarantee for getting what you're looking for. And uh, I've had really bad experiences with pulling equipment from Focus. So I'm gonna play it safe and go where the guarantee brings me. Wow, not at 10 pulls and... Whoa! Selene Ascended M. Things aren't looking too bad this time. And uh, yeah, maybe it's because Night Moonbeam is like my favorite Valkyrie. Yeah, no kidding. That report, you know, that annual report that we got to see, Night Moonbeam is legit my favorite Valkyrie. So maybe since this is her awakening, I'm getting some sort of good luck with this, and I hope it continues. There we go, eight pulls. So it seems like I don't have enough for a guarantee. Let's just hope that I might get something in nine pulls. Alright, so that was the ninth pull, and uh, apparently nothing happened. But don't worry, I don't have to top my crystals up just yet, because I do have quite a bit of crystals stocked in my inventory. Um, from the Lost Keys and the um, 
summer event and also the pumpkins from the Halloween event. Alright, so let's find out how much I have. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. It was about 8,000 crystals, so I'm hoping it could at least help me get one more of the equipment. Um, on the positive side, two more, but it's most likely just gonna be one more, and then um, we'll see what we get. Oh, but I actually forgot. This is the guaranteed pull, and it is Solene Ascendant B! Oh my god! This is super lucky, because... If it's not the 50th pull, there is no guarantee that you don't get a duplicate. So it only guarantees that list if it's the 50th, the 10 standard pull still stays the same as before. So from this point on, 28,000 crystals will guarantee that I get the entire set. I'm definitely not hoping to use 28,000 crystals. So yeah, I'm really hoping that this 7,900 crystals can get me at least one more of the two remaining parts. And if I really have to go all out and get 14,000 crystals for the last remaining piece of equipment, you know, I'm not really fine with that, but at least it's still manageable because up till this point, I haven't purchased any crystals at all. And uh, yeah, I've already got the Hersher and two parts of the Stigmata set, so I'd say it's going pretty well. Okay, so it has 41 pulls left. That means, yep, this is the guarantee. Um, actually, I'm hoping to complete the Stigmata set first. So, you know, I already have Arias, so I can decide later and- Oh, whoa! Nope, Ghost of Klimt. Well, Ghost of Klimt is pretty decent, but I feel that it should be the kind of stigma that requires the set to bring out its full potential. Still, not too bad a piece of equipment. I will be holding on to it. Oh, what? Mm. Damn it. It got me excited, but it's not what I'm looking for. Well, it is a decent weapon. I don't have it yet. And, uh, yeah, okay. It was only one pull anyway, so, uh, I'd say that was pretty lucky. Alright, so that makes 10 pulls. And, uh, yeah, 30 left on the counter. I hope I don't have to go that far. And, uh, let's see who it is! Ugh, I have mixed feelings about this. I've been wanting to get the entire Siegfried set. I think it's called the Hero set. So getting M is a start, but like I said, you know, same with the Burius PRI, not the right timing. But it could be fun, because I've been wanting to try this with Blood Embrace. Blood Embrace has 10 seconds on its cooldown, and uh, it lasts for 6 seconds. So with the 40% of the cooldown, uh, it'll only take 6 seconds to cooldown, and that means you can keep deploying the cross without, um, you know, any gaps in between its deployment. And that sounds really cool, but I don't know. Once I get this to um, its final form, then I'll find out. Alright, here we go, the last 77 pulls. I hope I don't have to do that many, but we'll see. Alright, so it's time for one more guarantee. We have 20 left on this counter. I hope that we get it this time, and then the remaining crystals can be used to get, you know, the last piece of equipment. It's a stigma, no. and it's Tesla Band M. Okay, it's not too bad. You know, it's used to support lightning, um, lightning elemental Valkyries, so it's pretty good. It's just that, um, it's not super strong, so you don't really require it. But yeah, having that additional boost is not bad. But still not something I'm looking for at the moment. Just too bad. Oh wow, not even guarantee, and uh, 
terrible, terrible weapon. Yeah, I, I can't find a good way to use this weapon, so... Yep, free Honkai Crystal, I guess. Well, not, not really free. You know, at the cost of not getting the weapon that I want, and also the crystals that I'm spending. Oh my god, please, 10 pulls left! Yes! Selene Ascendant T! Whoa, that was really lucky. It could have been a Selene Ascendant duplicate, but it wasn't. And I saved 10 pulls. Alright, so I'm kind of happy now because I've already gotten the full set. And, um, yeah, so, you know, the Hersher of the Void does have an option of using Arias instead of the Keys of the Void. You'll just have to switch up your playstyle. It's not really my playstyle to do like a switch in, switch out kind of thing, so I really still want to go for the Keys of the Void. And yeah, at this point, 14,000 crystals, still manageable, so we'll see what happens. Alright, so I'm gonna take my time and not buy all 14,000 at once. I'm just gonna buy like 3.3k until I reach the point of needing to top up again. Okay, so this is the first guarantee of the final 50 pulls, and I'm really hopeful. Come on, just drop those weapons and we'll be- mm. Wow, this is- this is really where all my luck starts going down the drain, because... Yeah, it's not like a super strong piece of equipment, and I just got it. And uh, I don't have any of the other two parts, yet I got the exact same part that I no longer need. Okay, so it seems like I'll have to top my crystals up again, but it's okay. I'm not topping them up like before. I'm topping up a lower amount, that's why it would seem like I'm buying a lot of crystals, but it's actually more or less the same amount that I used to get for the other events. Alright, so we are back to a guarantee, and uh, yeah, there are 31 more pulls left on the counter. And at this point, I'm really thinking that I might actually pull all the way down to the guarantee. Really hoping that's not the case, and ugh, definitely not something I want to be seeing. Alright, so I gave a few gifts and did a few bingos, so I have enough for one last pull. I mean, before I have to top it up. And that also happens to be a guarantee. So if I don't get it in this pull, then I have to do another 20. I really hope I don't have to do that, but yeah, it's not looking good. Selene Ascendant T. Again. Well, um, I don't think she's useful in anyone else except for the Hersher of the Void, so... That's going straight to becoming a Resonator. I mean, 1,000 Resonators. And it all comes down to this. So if I don't get it in this one, I will definitely get it in the next 10 pulls because not only is it the 10 pull guarantee, it is also finally the final 50 pull guarantee. And no. never mind, it wasn't even a weapon, and it's yet another Cecilia M. Anyway, since we're on the topic of Cecilia, she is actually number one on my list of most wanted playable Valkyries, and the second would be Durandal. So in case you didn't follow the most recent chapters on the Chinese server, Durandal has recently appeared. And let's get back to the polls. Alright, so it looks like I'll be triggering the guarantee for the weapon, but I was off to a pretty good start, so... All in all, it's, um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Alright, so there we have it. Finally, one last pull to get the Keys of the Void. And we will be done with the Hersha of the Void expansion. So 
So to everyone who is pulling for the Hersher of the Void, I wish you all the best. Thank you for watching guys, this has been MG, and I will see you guys soon.